Hey everyone, welcome back to another Python programming video and tutorial. In this video, and in, in this series now, I want to be looking at the NPy screen module. So, this is really, really cool. I've got the documentation up online. Uh, the URL is npyscreen.readthedocs.org if you want to go through it. Um, Honestly, you could use the documentation as a tutorial and a learning tool as yourself, but I hope to have my videos kind of supplement and help guide you through that. But here it is. So this module is nifty because it's a Python widget library and an application framework for programming the terminal or console applications. It's built on top of NCurses, which is part of the standard library, and I'm pretty sure this is only specific to Linux or Unix systems because it uses uh, curses, like the Python curses library. So that's specific only to Unix and Linux. Um, so it's it's designed for kind of rapid user interface development in the command line for the console. So that's pretty awesome. Like it shows you some pretty simple code here, and it's quick and easy. So I'm excited about this because I'm pretty sure I'm the only one so far on YouTube that has released tutorials on this. Uh, I've seen a demonstration video, but I haven't seen any video guides for it. So I hope this is a, a good thing for you guys. Okay, so this is pretty much a demonstration as to some of the cool stuff you can do. There are input texts, there are, uh, I don't know why my cursor is spazzing out, sorry about that guys. Uh, there's, a, of course, a, a header for every form that you create, there are files that you can browse to, uh, dates that you can set, and progress bars and sliders, multi-line inputs, checkboxes, and radio options, and I don't know, really cool stuff. So. There is some code that it shows off to you. I won't get into all of that yet because I want to give this to you piece by piece and have you cumulatively learn it. So some of the strength that this thing has, though, it's powerful enough to create everything from quick, simple programs to really complex, multi-screen stuff. So that's why it's a really nifty language. Uh, not, a lefty, not a lefty language, sorry, but uh, a really cool library that I'm excited to show you. So it does kind of give this note that it's being developed on Python 3, but the code is compatible enough with modern releases of Python 2. So I've been using Python 2.7 to play with it and run it, and I'm not having any problems whatsoever. So I'm pretty sure whatever version you're running, as long as it's recent and good, <laughs> you'll be fine. So it does note here that there are similar projects like Erwid, and of course there is the NCurses backend, but it gives this description here that Erwid is more of a traditional event gr driven. Uh, GUI library and targets other display devices as well as curses. I might get into Erwin eventually, but um, I mean, for now, I want to teach you guys NPy screen. So I'm sorry about my cursor. I don't honestly know what it's doing. All right. So the uh, next part of actually getting into this l language, uh, the, sorry, I keep saying language, this library is installing it, right? So we can do this with pip. If you guys don't have pip, you can sudo apt-get install pip. But pip is, you know, like a Python um, installation package manager. So it's pretty cool. So we can say sudo pip install npy screen. Now it'll ask you for your password. Go ahead and enter that in. It'll download it and successfully install it. So awesome. We're set. Okay. Uh, I'll get into a small demonstration as to what it can do right now. Okay, so this is all my, uh, my learning stuff here. I'll try and create a new folder. Teaching. <laughs> oh, I saved it as untitled. I want it as uh, 01.py. So let me fire that up. NP learning and teaching. Gmod plus x 01.py. And we'll be able to run 01.py whenever we're ready. So, okay. I want my shebang line as usual. And of course, we will import NPy screen, the new module that we're looking at. And here, I want to get into how it works. So you know, in the command line, and obviously on your console, in your shell, you have kind of an input and output kind of system, right? You enter things in, and then it displays things out to you. And that's pretty much how the console normally works. But if you're looking at things like uh, MUT, or links, or you know those those programs. Okay, I don't have them installed to be able to demonstrate to you, but some of the command line ones are kind of like an application that's manipulating the terminal screen and putting pixels specifically where they want to go. That's curses, right? That's the uh, terminal manipulation stuff that's part of NCurses and the curses mode. 
So, NPy screen has a nifty wrapper that allows you to get in and out of the curses mode really, really easily. For those of you that might have known it in uh, other ones, it's like init screen, and then you can set up a keypad to turn things on and off, and then you would turn on no echo, and I don't, I don't know, you would run a bunch of other functions that are kind of boring. <laughs> I guess they're not boring, but boilerplate code to get you to do what you need to do. So this is all wrapped up in one simple function for NPy screen, and I want to show you how it works. So first of all, we'll define a simple function that is not going to do anything whatsoever, but it is going to take arguments. And I'm using a uh, asterisk here to denote that it could take multiple arguments, kind of packed into one. And like I said, it's not going to do anything, so we'll just have it pass. So we'll do our pretty much normal line if we actually want to run our code, if name is equal to main. Now what the uh, function that is that kind of does this for you, wraps curses, is called wrapper underscore basic. And then you'd pass in your function. Now, this is going to do literally nothing. It's, it's going to look like it's doing literally nothing when you run it on our, on our console here. Let's see if I can do it here. Yeah, so like you see this all this space. Because we initialized curses and then we immediately hopped out of it because it wasn't doing anything. If I were to just say print, this comes in and out of curses mode. That's literally all you're doing. <laughs> I know it's not interesting whatsoever, but I wanted to establish that and have that concept in your mind, because that's the barebone basics of what NPy screen is doing. Of course, everything in NPy screen is displayed with the curses mode on, so I wanted to show you how it works behind the scenes. You'll never pretty much use this wrapper basic function in the, the development process if you, if you actually make like something with this if you actually use it as a tool but I want you to know that it's there and that's how it works. It goes over it in the documentation and tutorial that they have online. Um, I would recommend checking that out. I'll probably use it as, as a kind of a reference point when we're looking at the API reference and stuff and the more of the functions and things that we can do with it. But kind of for the introduction tutorial that they give you, they do show off that wrapper basic, uh, wrapper basic function. Okay, so that's all I want to demonstrate to you guys so far installation and intro and kind of giving you a background as to what this library is. I didn't say language that time. Awesome. <laughs> okay, that's all I wanted to show you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you're going to be interested in this series as much as I am, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.